I want to just, you know, uh, mention the wins and talk about the wins, you know. <clears throat> sometimes there's wins and sometimes there's losses, you know. I'm authentic. Who are you? Real name, no gimmicks. I'm authentic. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? All right, y'all. So this is this is really a video I never wanted to make, and for real, uh, it took me a while. I, it took me. Two days to really uh, figure out, you know, what I was gonna say or how I was gonna say it. But y'all know, man, we keep it real on this channel. You know, for the people who knew or the people who've been there a while, um, we don't just go off the good. You know, we don't just, you know, uh, mention the wins and talk about the wins. You know, <clears throat> sometimes there's wins sometimes there's losses you know so um we're gonna be completely clear and transparent and let y'all know that here at authentic frenchies we take losses too hell yeah, we probably we probably take more l we've been taking more l's than w's this year like for real but um i say i'll let to say this um in the beginning of this video uh you saw me Giving a puppy special care, you know, um, hand feeding him, uh, hand whooping him, uh, making sure he good. Gotta put him under the under the light because he was so weak. Um, on Friday, we actually lost that puppy, man. We actually lost that puppy. You know, um, I thought I never I never thought this would have happened. This is the, of course I will belittles, you know, ever since I was small. But since since we've been breeding French Bulldogs, this is about the fifth or sixth litter that we whelped. And we had zero issues with any puppies. But, um, puppy with the brown collar, man, he is no longer with us. You know, he didn't make it. Um, got weaker and weaker till he was gone man um the first 24 hours is the, the, the 28 to 48 hours when the puppy is born it's the most crucial and uh people even say the first two weeks uh of the puppies born especially frenchies call the first two weeks uh pretty much the high zone uh you know people have different different names for it but and them two weeks is so critical and so crucial because it's so easy for the puppies to slip away. Like I said, we never had this issue with any of our litters before. They all was thriving, but this happened. Um, I watched him, he just was breathing slow. He'll stop breathing until he just wasn't breathing no more. And the thing about him, he shows signs. And another thing about it, He's not the only one, man. So, brown collar with the half and half blue face that look just like Storm is no longer with us. Also, the very next day, our blue boy passed as well, man. Solid blue suit looks just like his daddy. I know he was gonna look just like his daddy. Um, same thing. The only difference is he wasn't showing signs of anything. He was eating. He was about the fattest one we had, you know. I th I just knew he was gonna be the best bull son, you know. I just knew that. So he was the only solid blue suit in the litter. Um, same thing. Just started breathing slow, and then faded away with no signs of anything. Not a brown collar, 
But yeah, he wasn't eating. He needed special care. He was weak. He was moving real slow. But a solid blue suit boy, no signs out of nowhere, like nothing. Eating, peeing, pooping, going towards the light, fighting his brothers to get to the uh, milk. I'm talking about no signs at all, but it's just one of them things that I can't, I don't even know, man. I don't even know what to say. And it kind of, it kind of messed my head up for a while, you know. Like I said, I ain't even want to make this video. And, uh, man, the, the stuff we go through as breeders, it'll make, it'll make the strongest man want to give up on quick. But, uh, I'm here to say that's when we go harder, you know. That's when we, uh, we put our thinking cap on and, and adjust things and, and do better and grow, you know. So, uh, it ain't no stopping with us, you know. It ain't no stopping with us. Uh, today, we actually gonna take Tie your litter to the vet. I want to get them tested from the ruler to the tutor, man. Make sure everything is good with them because it is, it's not even about the money with me, I swear. I got something. It's something about life, bruh. Something about losing life. It's, it's hard for me to deal with, you know? Like, for real. And that's just me being real. That's just me being open and vulnerable, you know? That's just, hey, that's me. So, uh, I don't want to have to lose no other puppies. So, we're going to take them in a day to get tested, like I said, from front to back, rooter to tutor. Make sure everything good with them. Uh, uh, with these pups right here, no signs of nothing. Like, they big, fat stomachs. I'll show you videos of them later on. But, uh, no issues eating every two hours. Um, no issues crawling around to the light when they want heat or crawling from the light when they, you know, they, they warm enough. No issues at all. I just want to get them checked just for peace of mind. So uh, I'm about to go get this quick workout in and then we're going to head to the vet. Uh, I'll pick y'all up when I pick y'all up. All right, y'all. So I'm headed to the vet right now. Got the crew with me in a uh, bucket. Um, they ate. but a good 30 minutes, you know, but I just wanted to make sure they was topped off, make sure they had enough food while we was there. Uh, I got the heated seats on, and I also got the side of the car, uh, put the heat on that side of the car. Even though it's it's like 80 something degrees, it ain't too hot down here right now, but uh, I just want to make sure they good, make sure they don't get too cold up in here, um, but that heated seat to do the job. Got them directly on the seat. Put a blanket over them. If you can see them, you know they moving around a little bit. But uh, they act like they trying to eat again, man. Them some greedy little suckers, man. But that's a sign of real good health. And uh, man and crew, man, they doing pretty good, man. Like I said, I just want to have them checked up. Uh, I have an issue with uh, the thickness of their stool. I want to ask about that. Make sure everything good. Make sure everything was on the up and up with that. And, um, you know, I just want to keep them thriving, you know, keep them doing good. Make sure they're healthy. And just a basic checkup, you know. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to put y'all down. And then we're going to pick y'all back up once we pull up to the vet, man. Let's get it. so I can get them back, you know, under that heat. So it could be all right, man. We're gonna see. Got the fecals done. Uh, just waiting on the test to run over there. Got them back in the basket. You know, they just did a communal. Uh, it's four pups, so they only took samples from two. And then we're gonna run 
those two samples. Uh, man, uh, one good thing though, uh, I did see discoloration in the poop. It wasn't no color at all. When she took a sample from one of them, it was color found. And so that's a real good sign, man. I'm, I'm thinking positive, baby. It's gonna be all good. Let's go. All right, y'all, we got some good news. Got some real good news. Um, each puppy was tested. Like I said, they got um, two samples from two puppies. And uh, ran the samples that came back negative for everything. So that's the good news. I told them about the inconsistent uh, bowel movements and all that. She gave me some medication for that. You know, some, uh, some antibiotics and also some probiotics for mama. You know, uh, mama take the, the probiotics, which of course they feed on her, and it goes to them, you know, which will in turn help them in their uh, digestive process. So that's real, real good news, man. She said their mobility looked good, which the mobility was way better than the other, other puppy that unfortunately we, unfortunately we lost. But, um, Good news, man. Good news. When I get back, I will be giving them their medicine first thing. I know they're ready to eat, but I'm going to give them their medicine first. Weigh them up. Upgrade the uh, each weight of each puppy. And then uh, I'm going to put them on Stormy so they can get their good milk. After that, they're going to be passed out. Man. Uh, it's coming up on 4 o'clock right now. So the next feeding will be at 6. And uh, I'll keep y'all updated, man. I know these puppies hungry, but I will let y'all know, man. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I ain't gonna even try to record it because they need to eat ASAP. So uh, I keep y'all in the loop. Make sure you follow the IG, authentic.frenchies underscore IG, you know, to stay up to date with everything. I usually post everything up first, you know, so make, you, make sure you follow that. Uh, if you're interested in getting an authentic Frenchie, make sure you hit my DM on the IG um, or Facebook. Authentic Frenchies on Facebook. Search pages and you're going to find me. Um, I had somebody hit me up actually about a, a, uh, a franchise. So um, I never that's something I never really thought about. It's just that I'm so, I like to keep my business close to me. Big, it's something about my name Like I stand on my name I stand on business I stand on principle And to have somebody ripping the name The brand And they doing bad business That don't sit well with me You know I could easily make some quick French franchise money But like I said Money ain't everything with me You know it's all about principles with me You know when you do business with us You know you dealing with somebody trust trustworthy Somebody who ain't gonna try to backdoor you and all this, no man, no. You know, um, I'm a, I'm a, I, like I said, I stand on principle. I like to treat people good, like to treat people right. And um, you know, you treat people right, they're gonna come back and do business with you again. That's just what it is, that's just facts. You know, so um, I'm pulling up right now. Um, again, about to go take care of them. Uh, I will be putting this video out tonight and also, uh, making an update video in a couple of days. Um, I'll let you know what their weight was. Um, you know, everything, man. I'll let y'all know everything. So, uh, this puppy's been giving me a run for my money. A run for my money up every two hours of the night. Zero sleep at all. I don't know how I'm functioning right now. But I am, man. Today I felt like I was about to pass out in the gym. I'm so tired, but hey, man. Gotta take care of him. Uh, but with that being said, I'm going to wrap this thing up. I'll holler at y'all on the next one. Authentic Benny, I'm out. Man, I feel so much better after going to the vet. Uh, got home, puppies had their medicine. Uh, Stormy had her new medicine and her antibiotics. And I actually weighed them. Keep a chart right here. You know, I weighed them to uh, make sure everything was good. And all of them actually gained weight. Uh, you know, a substantial amount, like a whole ounce in the past uh, day, pretty much, day and a half, or two two days, because I weighed them Saturday. So all of them gained damn that ounce, except for one. 
he gained like a half an ounce, but it is a game. So uh, I'm real, real happy about that. I will go to weighing them every single day instead of every two days, just just as a precaution, make sure they good, you know. Um, right now, Storm is still feeding them. Uh, well, one still latched on. The uh, fattest one, he still latched on. And uh, the other one's just chilling. She cleaning them up. And then uh, we're gonna, we gonna go ahead and do our thing, man. We're gonna go ahead and uh, grab the medication, put them in the fridge and all that. And then we're gonna wrap this thing up, man. I'm out.